There's got to be some pike along here feeding on this walleye. Hi and welcome to the show. I'm Leo Stock. I'm Rod James. And I'm Grant Mills. I'll tell you what, we are back here at Woolsey Lodge in the French River going after pike and walleye. Look at that. Nice boy. one. <laughs> Stick around guys, we're going to have a great show ahead for you. Yeah. <laughs> nice fish bud. Toyota Truck presents Fish TV in High Definition. Brought to you in part by Mercury, number one on the water. And Rapala, crafted from experience. With your hosts, Leo Stackos. And Ron James. You know what, guys? This morning at breakfast, Harold was telling me from uh, Wolseley, from the lodge there, that they get awful big bowfins in here. But no, they, they're beautiful fish. They're really mean, though. They're tough, hardy fish. A long fin right down their whole body, and they fight like, oh. Oh, oh, there's one, buddy. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice French River walleye. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's coming up. Oh, yeah, look at him. There's a the one yeah. we're looking for, eh? Beauty. Let's, get her, back. Let's get her back in. I don't know if the viewers will notice, but this fish is fairly dark, probably darker than most walleyes you're going to get. And I think the reason was uh, why he's so dark is that uh, he was right up against that dark rock ledge there when oh, I caught him. Nice. Let's get him back in the water. Fish, bud. Good job. There he goes. I don't know what it looks like. Look at this, he inhaled it. Little, little ones, eh? He doesn't even know what's going on. They gotta get a lot bigger than that, fella. Oh. Oh, oh that's oh, a, look wow, look at this. Oh, nice walleye, bud. Look at that. Giant, oh, buddy. yeah. Yeah, no run. That was a French <laughs> river treating you. Oh, look at that. There you go. The French River is renowned for its walleye fishing, muskie, bass, smallmouth. You really got to get out here. The springtime is a fantastic time to get out here to catch all different types of species. You know, we pulled up on this hump here. Ron rolled over there with his, with his grub and bang. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Nice job, fella. Oh, well, there he is, there he is. Look, 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 look at him, look at him, look at him. There he goes. Got him. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, he's off! Oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. That's a good one, buddy. Oh, it's a pike. Look at that. He just, he was just digging. Man, I thought that was a wall. Cool guy, buddy. You're hitting short. You're hitting real short, these fish. Yeah, I need some stinger hooks, man. I'll tell you what, Ron. One of the cool things about staying here at Woolsey Lodge if it does blow up out on the, on the main river there, they've got this great river right behind them. Oh, yeah. Wolseley River's got a lot of fish in it, bud. It's a great family resort. It's really a good opportunity to introduce a kid into fishing here. It's, it's nice and calm, it's quiet, the weather's just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful beach for swimming. Absolutely. What I like about this place is that it's got a lot of the cabins that are right on the waterfront. He's got some that are set back if you want to be a little bit more private. But most importantly for me, if I was thinking for my family, it's a really safe resort. The, you know, the beach area is kind of cornered off. The docks are very safe. They're very stable. You know, it really makes a difference when, when the, the owner operator puts his heart into a resort. Oh, Her Harold, a Harold and Ingrid are unbelievable. Okay, folks, I finally got a break to sit down with my good friend Harold from Wolsey Lodge here on the French River. Harold, thank you so much for having us on the show. It was my pleasure. Thank I you really very much. Appreciate it. You know, I, I got to ask you, because, you know, I'm looking around your lodge here, and you've got so much set up here, not only for the fishermen, but for the entire family. Uh, how long have you been at the lodge? Oh, we took over on the uh, uh, 1st of July in 2004, and uh, we got a little bit overwhelmed here with the amount of people we had here, and, uh, but it's, it's a great camp, and uh, we have many fa families coming over here, and uh, fishermen in the spring and fall, so it's just a great fun. Well, you, you certainly do. You, you know what, you do really pay attention to details. I noticed that, that you know, the kids are well protected off the road, you got the playground, you got a private beach here. 
But one thing that really impresses me, Harold, we got a chance to go all over the world and stay at a, at a lot of different resorts. You really take the time to make the resort as if you were staying here yourself. As we do, like we stay here the whole year and uh, we have the pleasure of being in the French River, like it's kind of paradise in this world. And uh, so why not making it enjoyable for us and other people? You know what, absolutely right. I gotta tell you guys, the fishing is fantastic. The accommodation, the food is absolutely incredible. You gotta get down here at Woolsey Lodge here on the French River. Let's get back to that pike and walleye action. You got a fish? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, decent sized pike, it's a good one. But... Okay. Look at he ate. That's when we had. He ate it. Just dragging it back, eh? Oh, look at the size of it. That's a pretty good one. A little pike. That's like a 30 incher. There, pikey, pikey. A lot of these fish are following up, but they're not committing to the bait. Oh, this guy's. And the jumper, this guy. So I said to the ground, I said, get the backup bait ready. I let the spinner bait stop for a second and he just, he just annihilated it. Look at that, it just goes to show you, whoa! Just goes to show you, sometimes vary your speed, vary your technique, and you can get them to bite anyways. <laughs> All right, get this guy back in the water. Oh, splash me. Oh, it's a better fish too. Yeah, it's a bass. It's a bass, it's a bass, it's a bass. It is? Oh, it, yeah, oh, for sure, bud, look at it. It's a pike. He just whaled that thing, Ron. Nice. You, you know what, I, li I like this spot because we're fishing about, we're right in the channel here in about 16 feet of water and the, the pencil reeds come up to maybe about three, four feet. And these pike are sitting along the edge here and just chowing down on things going by. These fish are, are starting to move up. We fished a number of different structures that's similar to this. There's two of them up. There's a monster with it. He was going to try and eat that pike. He didn't get to eat this pike, thanks to me. Look, at, look, 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 look. I got him. Oh, yeah. I got a bugfish, buddy. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, that's an even bigger look one. Look at the bullfin I got, hon. Look at the size of my mud. Watch that hook don't fly out. That's a bigger one, man. Oh, that's a monster. Look at the size of them. That's why we keep the non-tangle fray bill. Grant, there you go, buddy. You, pop oh, rope? No, you don't even want to get close to this thing, do you? Look at this. Yeah, look at the size of them. I'll tell you what, that X wrap. Pull that net straight up. He's out, he's out. Oh, he's, he's out. Good, out. Good, quick, good, quick, quick. good, 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 good. Lay him down. Be careful in case he jumps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Throws a grub down there. It comes after. Oh. And there he goes. Look at that. Right out of the. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that bowfin went after my pike. I'm telling you, Leo, I watched him come right up behind it. He was going to eat that pike. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. You know, we always say you never know what you're going to get, especially when you're throwing an X wrap. I mean, you've, we, you've seen us use it in salt water, fresh water, bowfin, largemouth, smallmouth, you name it. I want to do it again. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's right. keep going. Hey, well, this is the new <laughs> clock and minnow, guys. Oh, you know what? You guys are going to hear a lot about this, folks. You know, they, we're just starting to introduce them now. It's a fantastic bait. Obviously, you know it catches both fin and pike at the same time. So, you know what? I want to do that again. Yeah, nice little walleye. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, that's Beautiful. a beauty, man. Look at right that. where I had them, yeah. too. Probably the same fish. That's a nice fresh river walleye right there, bud. Look at that. It's time for Motor Guide Tackle Box. They've actually made a new slot size limit for the French River. They've actually extended the length of the walleye that you can keep. Because the walleye fishery is so good in the French that they've moved it up right here. This one here happens to be almost 17 inches. Because we're only allowed to keep them up to 15 and 3 quarter inches. Now, you can keep one over 24 as a trophy or 15 and 3 quarters under for four as a limit. Make sure you, you check your regulations when you're coming up to the French River. The fishery is so great here that you want to make sure that you get your regulations straight, maybe pick up one of these tape measures or, or some sort of a ruler and, and know that 15 and 3 quarters is the slot size limit that you can keep. And that's 15 and 3 quarters and under for four fish or one over 24 inches. And you should be able to pick these tape measures up at uh, any local marina or local lodge in the area. There you go. Oh, no. that's, that's a pike or something. That's a pike, yeah. Oh yep. yeah, nice pike. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Nice Want to get him for you, bud? 
He's not too happy. He's not too happy. <laughs> he just pounded it and took off with it. The pipes. It's the pipes. Oh, yeah. You got him, see? Yeah. You probably hit me and then came over and hit you. Toink. Oh, it's a big walleye. Oh. Yeah, it's a good walleye. Good walleye. Good one, Ron. He just went toink. Oh, another one with it. There was another one following it. Is there two of them there? Oh, yeah. yeah he see, hit that. He popped me and then yeah. he came over and he, popped you. Like, literally just went toink. Oh, it could have been the other one, Grant, because there was two of them. Oh, that's, that's a walleye. That's a dandy like, one. Oh, right there. Now, that's one of these walleye that are in the slot limit that you have to release here at the French. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good 16-inch, 17-inch walleye there. Now, one, one of the problems with walleye fishing, it's a good problem, but there's a bunch of lay-down logs in here and uh, sharp rocks. Unfortunately, you have to lose some jigs to catch these walleye because oh, yeah. that's where they're sitting. And, you know, as soon as we got on that top of that structure, Grant said, you know what, we're going to get one here. Look at, look at, how, look at that. Oh. Perfect identification with a white tip. Look at this white fin here. Look at that beautiful green. Just ate that trigger actually. Nice black. Beautiful eyes. Big walleye. Nice. Wow. Good job, Ron. Thanks, Bob. I think I just lost one there. Yeah, I just had another tick too. Did you really? Yeah. And there he goes back. Oh, the right screen down the, to the bottom. Straight. The screen is just lit up right now. You know, it's a perfect time. You really got to perk up. Every time we look down at that screen, we see it all lit up with bait fish and hooks underneath them. Everybody perks up. They, you know, they're, on, they're on demand here. Portions of Fish TV are sponsored in part by Toyota Truck, Never Quit, and Coffee Time, where coffee time is any time. That one's a better one too, huh, Grant? Oh, look at this. There. But well, that one I saw but, come up. Get, get, the, get the bait, the backup bait. You had one there too, Ron? Yeah. You still there? No, no. Oh, oh, oh. right there. Yeah. Got, there's fish everywhere. Watch this, folks. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I missed them. Oh, I got one. Oh, oh there's all kinds of fish around here. Oh, 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 there's rods going overboard. Get that rod, bud. Oh, no. Now we're catching rods. I got them. I got them. I got him, land him, Grant, land him. Yeah! Now that's what you call the best fish of the day. Oh! Go get him. Here, I got one. There's another one right there. Oh, look at this. Right? He's right there. Oh no, there he is, there he is. He's following it. How many little pike are in this little bay, man? This is nuts. Mm, little one. Two of them. I didn't spook them. Almost every cast you're getting one. Grant's working on one that followed Ron in. I got this little guy hammering me. I saw a little boil. Not a little, not a little pike, just hammered it, bud. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you know what? When we looked on the map and we saw Sturgeon Bay, it looked good for fish. And you know what? We saw a bunch of bigger ones as we were coming in. Uh -huh. We seem to be getting the smaller ones in the back here, but I'll tell you, what a blast these things are. There was a lot of fish sitting up front. Oh, there we go, another one. <laughs> you guys are getting them on the jerk baits now. There's a lot of fish around this area. You know what's so good about running these titanium spinnerbaits is when you're catching this many fish, and usually the pike hit it so hard, they bend the spinnerbait and they crunch it all, and you got to straighten it, and eventually it breaks. With the titanium, look at this. You can bend it any way you want, and it comes right back to a true running spinnerbait. That's why these are fantastic for any kind of fish. Worth every cent. Come on, baby. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh. Right the oh. What is that? <laughs> he come right up to the top and grabbed it. I stopped it and he jumped right on it. This is nuts. I'm throwing a classic pike pattern on, off the point here and I'm getting nothing. These guys are catching in the middle of nowhere in a bay. I had this whole side of the boat to myself. They were working the shoreline. Now look at it. I'll tell you what, folks. You come down here to the Wolsey Lodge at the French River and you will have a blast catching these pike and catching walleye. Come back in the summertime, catch some bass. Come back in the fall, catch some musky. Come in the springtime and catch some uh, some bowfin. First cast. Holy shoot, does he ever get move that far. better one? A little bit better. Yeah. I like how they roll and they give two darts and that's it. Yes, they are a little dark. Whoa. This one's eating pretty good. He hammered that. Oh, it's a largey. No, it's not. It's a pike. Oh, there we go. Double header, boys. 
Triple header. Yeah. 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 I lost them. I lost them. You lost yours. Your little hammer. Oh, mine went in the water. Almost a triple header. Right here. How many pike are sitting around on this bay? This is crazy. Yeah, lots. Lots of little ones, but hey, they're a lot, you know what? They're a lot of fun. I'll tell you what, folks. Get the kids out here at a Wolsey Lodge catching these little pike here. They're so aggressive. And as you can see, we're getting one after the other. We are going to go after some bigger pike, but you know what? We're, we're having so much fun in here. We want to stay in here for a while. So you got to get out here to Wolsey Lodge in the French River. It's absolutely incredible fishing. Look at him. Look at him fight, eh? Oh, did he ever hit hard? And he tried to take me right in those sticks. Oh, ooh, there we go. Quick release. Live release. Thank you. Didn't even have to touch him. Oh, you know what? Easy, bud. We'll get you back. A double header there, Milzy. Yes, sir, Mr. Jane. Oh. oh, oh, yours is bigger. Well, oh, there no, he goes. See mine ya. was bigger. See ya. Look at this. Get I want tough. the one that wanted that. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a big mark here. Yeah, he's a big chunk. Oh. And there he goes. Yeah, man. <laughs> Brad's got one. Oh, that is a nice pike, eh? He picked it up like a walleye, though, didn't he, bud? Oh, look at that. I just felt one grab right now. He was shaking away, too. Oh, nice hook set, too. Look at that, just popped out. Popped right out. There you go. That's nice right. French River pike. You're lucky you didn't suck that jig all the way in. You wouldn't have anything. <laughs> yeah. It's a good idea to check your line all the time, Grant. I mean, the, uh, you know that already, but for the folks at home, it's a really good idea to run your fingers down that line to make sure you don't have any frays in there because you don't want to be uh, missing a big fish there. Mm -hmm. And those critters do have teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't want to lip them. I told you there'd be a fish there. I didn't say what species, but what a beautiful morning, though, you guys. Awesome. Fantastic. It'll be the spring fishing. I'm fishing on my birthday, so which means I'm going to catch more fish, hopefully. No, that's when you catch your, the biggest one. <laughs> they're biting real light. I mean, they, that oh, was yeah. just a small little tick. Look at there's a, there's a there we go. good school oh. down there. Good right, school down there. Guy. There we go. This guy's just pounding. Oh, oh big look at the perch. size of that perch. Oh, look at wow. the size of the perch. Maybe that's what I'm marking now. Yeah, could have been some perch. I'll tell you what, that is one big, big perch. Well, that's why all these... These fish get big, man. Well, I'll tell you what, if I had to match the hatch, I'd be throwing a bait this big. <laughs> right underneath that bait. Whew. Whoa. Nice. That's a scrapper. You come right off that tree, eh, bud? Yeah, he hammered it too. Well, it drops right in here. Like, well, how deep is it, Grant? Yeah, that's eight feet, nine feet. How's that? Nice. How's that for a birthday fish, buddy? There you go. I'll tell you what, guys, if you guys can guess how old I am today, send me an email and we might be sending out a Fish TV prize pack. Mm -mm. And don't say that I'm 60 or 65 or you will lose. You'll be close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get this guy back in the water here. He's coming over to it. Here, he's coming to it. Here he is. He's going to hit it. He's got it. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a big carp. No, it's, it's a big, dogfish. The it's dog a big fish. carp. But I'm telling you, it's a dogfish. Oh, look at the size of it. <laughs> Oh, it's a, a nice dogfish. Dog these, these things here are mean, man. You got them? No. Nope. As soon as I go to grab them, that's just how strong they are. I go to grab them, he's going to jump. I got him now. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> what? Look at where you got him, right in the snow. Yeah. Look at the colors of them. Look at the scales. It's got scales like a carp, eh? And that fin, that back fin goes all the way down. Right down to his tail. Yeah, he's a beauty. Let's see if we can get some pike that way. I don't know. I, kinda... I, I honestly thought I had a big pike there. Oh, yeah. First big dogfish on the French. French River, catch anything. Large mouth, small mouth, pike, muskie. Dogfish. And dogfish. <laughs> nice one, bud. Yeah, that's a decent fish, buddy. I cast it over to the uh, minnows again. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice good fish, bud. Sturgeon Bay Pike on the French River. Can you give me a hand with that one, bud? There you go. Things are heating up. Yeah, it, 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 that goes to show you they're not that active when this heat. In about another hour, when the sun goes down, look out. Oh, Get that big big. oh. <laughs> I think things are really heating up back here. 
You know, all I did here, folks, I cast it out to where the minnows were busting. I gave it a couple twitches, twitch, twitch, and he came up and just railed it. I got there. There was a lot of fish, a lot of pike, a lot of musky, a lot of bass mm -hmm. in the Sturgeon Bay here on, on the French River. It's absolutely incredible. Sturgeon Bay pike. 24, 25 inches. Oh, God. This is a cow, bud. This is a big musky. Whoa, whoa. Oh, buddy! <laughs> and you know what? This is not this is not what we were expecting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the trolling motor up. Get the yeah, trolling get motor up. Get the trolling motor up, bud. Oh yeah. This wow. is a tank, bud. This is a fence post. I'm telling you right now. While he's fighting this fish, because he's gonna be about an hour and a half, I said, you know what, we gotta do this point over here because it's a classic feeding spot for big, big fish. And guess what? Just hammered <laughs> Oh, you have no idea the size of this fish, bud. Wow, look at that. You better make sure he's wore out before you gill him. Oh! <laughs> I got him. You got him. Look you got at him. that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you folks, a quick look at it. I want to get her back in the water. But that <laughs> is a Wolseley Lodge French River fish right there, guys. You got to get out here. Get him back, Will. Oh, I'll tell you what, Ron. We have had an absolutely fantastic day. Grant, you are a phenomenal walleye fisherman, buddy, but I have to tell you, honors goes today to my good James friend, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get out here, guys. Wolsey Lodge, French River, does it again. Until next week, I'm Leo Stockos. I'm Ron James. And I'm Grant Mills. And we'll see you next time on Fish TV. Woo! <laughs> yeah! yeah! Good one, bud. <laughs>